UK will no longer use bee harming pesticide. Here's a summary of the article. A pesticide believed to harm bees has been authorized for emergency use in England, despite an earlier ban. Emergency use of a product containing the chemical thiamethoxam has been allowed because a virus is threatening sugar beet seeds. Scientific studies have long linked the use of these chemicals to the decline of honeybees, wild bees and other animals which pollinate plants. Along with the UK, 10 EU countries including Belgium, Denmark and Spain, countries with significant sugar production, have granted emergency authorizations. Milan Wierk van Rijn, from the charity Bees for Development feels disappointed by the government's decision. The 32-year-old says the insects play a vital role in the food chain, with around a third of the food we eat relying on pollination mainly by bees. Milan agrees it's important to protect sugar beet, but says the government has to find another way. This post received a score of 33,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It's also as important not to use anything to kill your clover and dandelions in your yard. Also the fungus. Bees require fungus to detoxify viruses. Yes. For those with yards, check out how to grow garden giants. They're edible and bees like to nibble on the mycelium as it helps them fight diseases. Reishi and probably many others too, but they can't be planted in the garden the same way. Oh yeah, wine caps, King Strofaria. What is the MVP of your garden? A tribute to garden giants. The bees are happy. One third of my guys' diet is honey. Has anybody noticed how few insects there are? My headlights used to be caked in insects during the summer, now barely any? Yeah, it's actually kind of worrying if you think about the implications on biodiversity. The wildlife is dying. Yeah, entire species. Good. Don't tread on me, it's my world and you're all just living in it. S. Did you even read the article? For the people that didn't, there is already in place an EU-wide almost total ban on three of the most harmful to bees pesticides. There was an exception in place for one culture that needed one of them badly. They don't expect the pest to excess treatment threshold this year, so they don't expect to need it this year. And hash X200B, so, dot the title is misleading. Being from the UK and having read the early articles on this story, it's impressive how this entire situation has not had much of a single headline that isn't misleading in any press outside of smaller targeted press for people who may have been directly affected. I'm an agricultural expert advisor. There is really few article out there that are mostly on target. But that is also the case in any other sector, about their most arcane subjects. Eating three plus times a day doesn't warrant a deep knowledge of agriculture, at all. But it's still a very common mistake made by both journalists, and readers. Don't worry, bees happy. They must have just seen that Black Mirror episode. Which one is the bee-harming pesticide? Thiamethoxam and other neonicotinoids. Of course the BBC would say that. Yeah, like jazz? Edit, UK will no longer be using bee harming pesticide. Another big win for Big B when will people realize the injustice done against small mom and pop global pesticide consortiums? Why doesn't anyone think about them? When is enough, enough? Bees only care about their honey. They don't care about you. Wake up, BPLE. Makes sense. God save the queen, B. The bees are still probably fucked like the rest of nature. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.